skin and soft tissue infection represent uh, a not frequent uh, disease in pediatrics that can be divided in severe forms that are mainly represented by cellulitis, diffuse cellulitis, and necrotizing infection like necrotizing fasciitis, and the not severe form. Severity is not only related with the, the, the deepness of the infection in the skin structures, but also in the sites where the infection is developed, that means in the face or in the limbs and the hands and the foot, can represent places where the infection can be particularly severe because of the risk of the disease in the most important part of the, of the body, that means in the central nervous system for the face infection, and the risk of losing an heart for the, for the, the an end or a feet for the localized infection. The major problem is related with the fact that the, uh, the most severe diseases are frequently unrecognized until we have faced with the most severe clinical pictures. 85% of cases of necrotizing fasciitis are not recognized at the beginning of the symptoms. And this put at great at risk of the patient, or the patient for uh, the major damage of the, of the limbs or even for the life because of the risk of septic shock and death. Streptococcus pyogenes and the Staphylococcus aureus represent the most frequent causes of this disease, but a not negligible part can be due to gram-negatives and also to anaerobes. And the presence of anaerobes is mainly detected by the presence of air in the tissues. That means that there is production of gas. From the point of view of the treatment, the most severe forms require an aggressive surgical treatment that must be associated with supportive care and antibiotics. Antibiotics uh, are generally available and uh, ampicillin, penicillin, all the penicillins can be used and sometimes uh, uh, other drugs against anaerobes like uh, clindamycin or metronidazole must be added if we use, uh, for example, cephalosporins that are, that are not active against uh, anaerobes. The major problem today is due to the presence of resistant bacteria like methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus that require the use of glycopeptides or other molecules that frequently are poorly studied in children or have major toxicity and are not registered for the pediatric use. 